Hey everybody, it's me and my friend Mick Ruff. It's September 20th and I want to go ahead and take a minute just to prep y'all something which I'm about to show y'all. Something this show is called the Colbert Report on Comedy Central. This segment I'm about to show y'all and yes, he's a Republican and he's a comedian. But one of the things that he said near the end of this segment is actually the truth about when the rich were given a higher tax hike when Bill Clinton was the president. Guess what? We end up in America got a surplus. Once Bush got into it, then we're into a deficit or as we call it now, a recession. But again, about to show this segment to you and take a look at this because I think it's kind of funny. And once you look at the graph near the end of this segment, you realize President Obama is right. Of course, there's one foreigner really robbing America. Barack Obama. <laughs> Yesterday, Obama unveiled his deficit reduction plan with yet another fiery speech from the Rose Garden. I am beginning to think he has locked himself out of the White House and is afraid to admit he can't find his keys. <laughs> now, folks, you don't have to be a rocket scientist to understand that the U.S. needs money, which is good because we have laid off all of our rocket scientists. <laughs> but by taxing the rich, there is a name for what Obama is trying to do here. When you pick one area of the economy and you say we're going to tax those people because most people are not those people, that's class warfare. The president wants to move down the class warfare path. I don't think uh, I would describe class warfare as leadership. Yes, it is class warfare. And that is unfair to rich people who, generally speaking, would prefer not to fight our wars. <laughs> Meanwhile, President Obama denies... His tax the wealthy plan is even war. This is not class warfare. It's math. Since when? Since when does math settle anything? Like evolution, I believe math is just a theory. And demonizing the wealthy is not what our economy needs. Just ask GOP economist guru Paul Ryan. If you tax something more, Chris, you get less of it. If you tax job traders more, you get less job creation. Yes, job creators like me need low taxes so we can continue to create jobs. Just look at history. In 1995, the effective tax rate paid by millionaires was 30.4%. Here's the graph. In 2009, it had dropped to 22.4%. And over that same period, unemployment plummeted from 5.6% all the way down to 9.3%. Folks, I promise, I promise there is more jobs coming. Just be patient. We job creators are like a slot machine. If we just keep pumping in tax cuts, eventually we're going to pay off. You can't quit now. You've got us all warmed up. But the most frightening 